Your life is your monastery. You don't have to go off on retreat to be holy and spiritual. You have only so much time on this world. That's why I love that Hawaiian music that we started, Wonderful World. You know what? It is a wonderful world. And with every day we're alive, we should feel joy. But why is it we spend two-thirds of our time, three-quarters of our time at work? And isn't it sad if you come home every day miserable and you bring that home into your household? Or isn't it bad to just be thinking, I am so miserable at work? I tell people, well, why don't you shift? Do something else. Well, I can't. Why? And, and they're going into denial. Because the real reason why they come back to work is they enjoy getting paid that much, or they have that much seniority, or the benefits are that good. So they're beating themselves up every single day. And isn't it sad? They're, they're not awake. They're not actually looking in the mirror. Because if it was that bad, you probably wouldn't go back to work the next day. So actually, you're kidding yourself. You're going back to work for reasons that you're refusing to acknowledge are important to you. Better than that, why not be a change agent? Why not help your company to grow and develop in ways that are more positive, that are more value-laden, uh, that are more conducive to trust? And oh, by the way, with any company that I've ever worked, the only reason why they keep asking me back is because it's good for business. The good news is, is when you, you do the right things and you do things right, guess what? All the numbers take care of themselves. People just have to own the whole process. So I'll conclude and, and simply say, all change begins with you. Then you've got to look in the mirror and say, can I be a vehicle for positive change at work? And then I've had the pleasure of working with companies that expand that to supplier companies, uh, supplier partners, customers. And suddenly, this wonderful thing starts to grow and develop. And you know what? And at this time, as Secretary Riley mentioned, wouldn't it be great if we could take this kind of seven arts approach and just transform as many businesses as humanly possible in America and get ourselves out of this mess. Because all of the keys are right here in our own spirit. All we have to do is do the right thing and do things right. Thank you very much.